Okay guys, I wanted to do a video kind of discussing the need or the value in having full drain back of the oil that accumulates on your oil control rings, your oil scraper rings, oil, you know, whatever you want to call them. For some reason, I was doing some research and just happened to come across several articles that talked about LS engines that were reported to have had high oil consumption issues at a very low mileage. And uh, I, I remember hearing that, you know, my friend uh, Andy with Rebel Racing, he also works at Certified, uh, they've had issues where people come in complaining of, you know, oh, this thing uses a lot of oil. You know, it's only got 30,000 miles on it. What's the problem? And they always try to, you know, kind of look at the PC, the positive crankcase ventilation is an issue. Well, these articles I found were actually talking about oil getting trapped without being able to drain properly in your oil control grooves. And they're trying to say that there was some kind of a problem with the casting. They're trying to say that the LS pistons weren't cast properly and the drain backs, sorry about that, let me get this thing set up. Uh, they were trying to act like the LS had issues with their casting where these two drain backs, because it's what these are, if you guys see these, these are how the oil is for that scraped from your cylinder walls is supposed to ride this groove and on each side you got two drain backs. Well in this article they're trying to say oh there was some kind of a breakdown in the design and as it was casted the uh, combination of the casting discrepancy is what they're calling it and your lower support rail for your oil ring because you got you got your centerpiece then you've got your upper and lower control ring that, you know, in your groove. They're trying to say that that lower support ring obscures this hole either partially or completely, which doesn't allow oil that's scraped from your cylinders to get out of this groove. And what that does is eventually causes almost like a hydraulicing situation against compression, can interfere with your ring seal, eventually through friction and heat would burn and, and cake this groove and the and actually the second ring groove with burnt motor oil because it can't drain properly so i'm thinking okay i may have to look into this because i want to make sure i don't run into that problem if i can absolutely avoid it so i pulled my four eight pistons out was looking at them and i was like I can tell you now that that little drain back hole can't be any, can't be any deeper than it is because it cuts into the groove. Now it may not be adequate, you know what I mean? Like there could be some legitimacy to that lower support ring covering up the majority of this hole to where you just have a really tiny small hole that gets easily clogged up with burnt oil. Because just heat in general from your combustion process is going to transfer into the piston and can cause, you know, burnt oil to gum up your rings. I get that. And if anybody's ever torn down an old engine, you can see it. Um, what I was trying to do on this video <clears throat> was, one, talk about how the aftermarket addressed the situation. Because most of your aftermarket pistons for strength see if you can see this they take and they put more material on their pin the sides of their pistons they don't cut them flat if you can look at the differences between these two pistons this is cut down for weight savings where this piston puts a lot of extra meat here for strength and then you'll also notice the LS piston has the drain backs on the side. This uh, seal power, I think, forged piston does not have them on the side. Instead, it has them 
board or cast, I'm not sure how they put them in there, in the actual oil control ring land. Now, instead of having, you know, three smaller holes, like some of the older pistons, they just put two elongated windows, you know, two on each side to alleviate that oil that gets caught in your oil control ring land. Okay, in that article I read, it talked about adding uh, two to three, I think they were saying three thirty seconds of an inch, but that would all be determined on how big your actual oil control ring land is, but where you would add holes to the sides, because think of this as the piston on the crank, sorry about that, piston on the crank, this is going to be your, you know, towards your, this is going to be your outside of the piston. The other side would be the inside, and then you have your left and your right. But what they're talking about doing is drilling holes in this ring land to alleviate that oil buildup or any kind of a pressure issue from the oil not coming out fast enough. Which I'm I'm down with that. I mean, I've seen a couple of videos on it. You know, I've got access to a drill press. It's not that big of a deal. Um, here's a TRW big block Chevy piston. Again, forged baby dome big block Chevy. Not flat. Got the extra material here for strength and support. No side drains. They just put two. You guys can see that in the video. There we go. Two holes. In the back of the oil control ring land, which aren't even touching, I might add, the bottom of the ring land surface. For some reason, their holes are near the top of the ring land, which seems kind of odd, but whatever. So you're looking at aftermarket pistons adding the drain backs on the sides of these pistons. I believe there's a reason engineers do things. I don't understand why the LS engineers decided to go with the lighter piston design and put the drain backs on the side. Now I have seen, let's look, let's just for argument's sake, we'll look at a, this is just a rebuilder piston. Let's look at this just for argument's sake. This is just a small block Chevrolet, flat top, cast flat top, what I call rebuilder piston. There's nothing special about it. It's a press pin, blah, blah, blah. But if you look at this thing, it has a similar design as the LS, but they put the oil drain backs is a huge open it's hard to see because of the shadow they have a huge slot look at that look at how big that oil drain back slot is is that stock look at that that is a huge I mean there's no way oil is gonna build up in that ring land because I mean we're talking about previous designs we've looked at in this video having a couple of eighth inch holes drilled in each side. This thing has a huge trough. Probably not the strongest idea, not the strongest design. But you can see where they were absolutely worried about doing or allowing that oil to scrape from your cylinder walls during running to be evacuated or drained back to your oil pan. So, did a little bit of research on the old LS. And that's where we're headed. This next build is LS land. So what I'm looking at doing is I am going to add, or I'm gonna have these two naturally because that's how it's made. 
but I'm going to add two or three. Eh, probably two. I don't want to go crazy. Maybe three. But I'm going to add some holes to each side of the oil ring land so that I can guarantee that that oil is not building up in there, causing me any kind of problems whatsoever. And you can do a quick, I think it's, you can search drilling pistons or oil. I can't remember how I found it, but you can look on YouTube and Google and find information on adding these oil drain back holes to these pistons. It's a straightforward, you know, I would suggest you use a drill press just for accuracy. That's not to say that you can't do it with a hand drill, but I'd sure hate you to, you know, slide off crooked or, you know, end up hurting a piston and having to replace it. So, but adding those oil drain bags, which is what I'm going to do. Now, again, I'm not saying this is what you need to do. I'm just saying that I'm not going to run the chance of having any oil, oil consumption issues that related even remotely to this scenario because I'm going to add a few oil drain back holes to each side of the piston and make sure that oil can get out of there. Um, I hope everybody follows along with what I was trying to say and uh, understands the potentials, potential issues you could have with having oil trapped in that ring land and not being able to drain properly. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you, but I'm trying to get moving on this LS build. Thank you.